Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome back to our Minecraft survival world. Last episode we set ourselves up with this stable and I noticed when editing this video I actually did a showcase up here. So if we just go up here you can see all I did was put some hay bales around here and that was pretty much it. I don't think I showed this off, I think I forgot this, I, I feel like I made a mental note so I think I did forget that. Uh, but we worked on this stable, we set ourselves up with these horses. In the lore what happened was... We got some villagers come from a village that was over there. They came over here. Uh, they said basically, you know, you need some protection. We'll give you a couple of guys in exchange for some horses. So this guy went ahead and bred up both of the horses. He came here on, bred them up in the stable and started selling them to the village for supplies and people and stuff like that. So yeah, we're trading horses for people in the, in, in the law here. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like what it is. So I, I, I think this is a little bit... I think I want to just... I think I want to pop... Sort of like that. I don't. I don't like that one down there. But yeah, I, I've also acquired a couple more horses. I found a couple wandering around, so I brought them in here. But in this episode, what I want to address is my food situation. I've had to go around killing off a bunch of pigs just to get myself some pork chops, and we don't have a good source of food in this world yet, or at least in the season two world. Nor do we have a way to repair our tools. So I mean, I'm going to have to run back to the old world quickly to repair up our tools because they are they are looking a little worse for wear. But what I want to do in this episode is I want to focus on a barn. I'd like to build up a barn. We've got a stable. This is a farming settlement that we're building up here. So I would like to build up a barn over here. Look like, it looks like another horse as spawned, which is awesome. We could take him, put him in there. Do I have my saddle on me? No, I don't. Okay. So I want to put a barn here and I want to sort of like bring out some of the pens to sort of like, I don't know if I want it to attach to this pen or if I want to have like a, a nice little road going around here. I think I want to bring the road around here just to add some separation between it. I want a lot of roads in this place. So I want it to feel very open and not very crowded. So I definitely think we are going to bring the road around there. But I want to put the barn here and I want to have three pens out back. I want to have a cow pen, a pig pen and a sheep pen. Now, the sheep pen is going to be for slaughtering sheep. It's not going to be a wool sheep pen farm thing. It's just going to be for slaughtering sheep for mutton and stuff like that. I think I would build a more dedicated sheep farm somewhere else in this settlement. It would definitely be in part of this farming settlement. Uh, and that's something that I want to do. I want to start setting up farms for all of this stuff. So we've actually got farms that we need. We'll probably put a chicken cooker on the inside and that'll take care of our food as well. Uh, yeah, actually, I kind of like that idea of having... That. So I've got an idea in my head of what I want this barn to look like, so I am going to get to work on that. But I think the first issue today is to go ahead and repair up my tools. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And briefly before I go, I just want to kind of say where I've been, because Minecraft has been on a short break. I just haven't been too well. It's nothing that's in the news or anything like that. It's not that that was wrong with me. It was just gallstones. They play up from time to time, and it's just better that I lay down or do a lot of walking. If I'm sat, it makes it worse. So I've just sort of been doing that. But guys, thank you so much for all the support on this series so far. And on the channel, like, I have doubled in views over this past month. I used to get somewhere between, like, 2,000 to 2,500 views a month. I'm now up to 4,000 to 5,000 views a month. And that is amazing. So thank you guys so much. And people are subscribing a lot on this channel now. I'm, I'm starting to notice the numbers are jumping up. I'll gain, like, four or five subs and I'll lose a couple of subs. So on and so forth. So... It's really great just to have that support, so thank you guys so much. So yeah, I've rambled on now for a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and repair up, and then when I'm ready to start planning out the project, I'll bring you on back. If you could just take a moment and hit that subscribe button, it would be much appreciated, but without further ado, let's jump back into the video. Welcome on back, folks, and I've got my equipment now all repaired, and they're all looking nice and good, and that's exactly what we want. So what I want to do now is I want to start planning out the barn, and kind of like the shape that we're going to go with, and the style that we're going to go with. And I do want to go with a typical style, but I also want to add in my own sort of flair to it. Something that makes it unique and to myself. So this is kind of like the size that I'm thinking of. This is a good size. Uh, we may move this along a couple of blocks. I think actually moving it along a couple of blocks might be beneficial. So what I'm doing is I'm going that, and then I'm putting a three gap between it. Then I'm putting another one, then I'm putting a five gap. And then we're putting another one. So let's get rid of you. Get ourselves that three gap going there. And then bring that across. So, sort of like this size. I did mean to grab some scaffolding, but I forgot it. But that's okay. Just so I can sort of like pill up a little bit. Because I'd like to be here. Do I have any dirt on me? No. Let's just use some spruce logs. I want to pill up a little bit just to get a, a rough shape. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, the question now is, how far are we going to go back on this? Uh, and I definitely want 
Uh, now I'm looking at this, I'm beginning to think that maybe we do this a little bit bigger, because I definitely want some towers popping out from it. And if we do the towers here, they're just going to be three tall. So, yeah, I think I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And this is why planning is important. Because by planning, we can get ourselves... I mean, we can keep that as three. We just need to make this seven. So, that was five before, wasn't it? Yeah, one, two... Oh, jeez. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I find tapping the block just easier to count it with. And then we go... Actually, that, that could be it. So I, I don't want the barn to be too big. I don't want it to be too big. And that's that's the thing. So what about if we were to just do this a little longer? Actually, no, let's put this one as a three gap here. Then we can get a, a bit of a look for it to see which one we like. Let's grab that. Grab those. Pop up. Um, hmm. I like the kind of one gap, to be honest with you. So I, I don't want this to be overly big. And again, I'd, I'd like this sort of like up against this road. So I think I'm going to put this over here. So yeah, let me get a bit more work done on this. I'm going to move this over a little bit and get the rough shape in place. Sort of like as a block square. And then I'll bring you on back. Welcome on back, folks. And I've got the roof in place, or at least the outline shape of the roof. And you can see this is the kind of shape that I'm going for. I'm going for a curved edge up at the top, as opposed to that sort of like steep barn that we normally get. And the way that it looks now, I don't like it. I think this is a bit too much of a big gap here with, with just one. So I've got ahead over here and I've made it just a little bit different. And we've added a two block gap. Now, I don't normally like building on even numbers because it finds it, I find it difficult to actually sort of implement certain things into it. But in this case, I think it looks really, really good. So there are a couple of things that I want to add to this. But I think what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just... Fill in the rest of these. We've got these pillars made out of the stripped spruce and these sides are going to be made out of the oak stripped. And I think that the roof itself is just going to be oak. I do want to put a little bit of a uh, another archway on this one. Not so much on this one, although maybe we may do something on this one. Ah, creepers. Good. I've collected gunpowder for rockets. So yeah, I think I'm going to get that filled in and get the barn shape actually done in full. And then I'll bring you on back and we can talk about some of the things that we're going to do to make the barn sort of stand out and be a little bit different from the rest of the area. Welcome on back, folks. And the barn is in place. This isn't the final, final product, but this is kind of where we're at at the moment. We've got the nice little roof in place. I went for a darker roof over, as opposed to the lighter sort of like area here. I did move this across one because I didn't like this seven in the end. Now, the original plan was to have a tower on top, a couple of towers either side, like a little bell tower on either side. I think that still would look cool, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I want to do something else, actually, to make this one look a little bit cool and keep that bell tower idea for a future barn. I really like that idea. And what I want to do is I want to have a couple of cranes, sort of like lifting stuff up and out of here. So I want to have a crane on both of these windows, the front and the back. I think on one we're going to have food and on the other one we're going to have a bunch of crates. So I do want to get that in place, uh, which means I need some cobblestone walls. But I just want to try a couple of things with you on camera and just take you around it. This is the inside. I'm pretty happy with the inside, sort of like the shape of the inside. Anyway, we go up either side here and it leads onto a little walkway, a little gantry that we could just walk around here and get around the barn. I think that looks really cool. Uh, we're going to have our animals out here and out here. Uh, I'm debating whether to remove these and put oak stairs in the way. Like these and just get... Do I have oak stairs on me? I don't. Let's just grab spruce stairs temporarily. Uh, just sort of doing that so that we can get sort of like up and out of here a lot easier. I think that would just be cool just from a perspective of actual functionality. We could get up here and just sort of like elytra out if need be. So there's that. I think that looks pretty cool. So yeah, I think I'm going to get to work on these cranes. But the one thing I do want to do quickly i want to try out some of these dark oak fences and i set myself a challenge when i did this i didn't want to go ahead and use cobblestone and uh, not cobblestone sorry uh stone brick like we did the stable i want to set these builds apart i still want to keep them in the same style as each other so they do look relatively fitting with one another but i didn't want to go ahead and just sort of like copy this sort of like style so it just looked like an extension of this i wanted it to like its own build but still fit within here so we kept the uh, dark sorry not the dark we kept the spruce stripped logs and the stripped log sort of like texture of using the oak for the inside, which is what we've done there. But we added a bit of a different roof here. And this side of the roof is pretty bland and I want to do something about that in the future. Uh, but I really have no idea. It's coming to head 
right now. I may just, for the sake of this video, just add another one of these on. Because over here we've got this sort of like roof here that really makes it feel like a barn. And we've got a skeleton. I've had nothing but skeletons giving me trouble the whole time I've been doing this. But it's welcomed. I need the bone meal. I need the bone meal. But I don't know. That kind of like is it's just going to be a road. So I might keep that as is just to give that bland feel of a barn. I don't know. I'm going to have a bit more of thinking about that. So I'm going to get some sleep. And then I'm going to go ahead and get those two cranes in. And then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Come back, folks. And I've got the cranes in place. Or at least the vast majority of it. So this was my first attempt. And this was my first ever attempt at a crane. I've never, ever done a crane before in Minecraft. I powered a bunch of crates on there and a couple of crafting tables and a couple of chests. And I think it looks all right. Over the back, we've got a second attempt. And this one I decided was going to be lowering stuff down. And on here was going to be animal feed, which means a lot of hay bales. But I haven't got around to putting the hay bales on here yet because I just don't have the wheat to do it at the minute. My wheat feed... Wheat feed? My wheat field is over here and it is growing at the moment. If you take a look back here, you can see that it is growing and it's mostly done. And I've already got a couple of harvests, but I thought I'd get a few more harvests out of it first before I started to pile uh, the wheat all over the place because I know I want to use wheat quite a lot in this build. So I'm going to leave that to grow and do that in a moment. But I also added in these doors at the side here. This is just a regular door with a bunch of trap doors. I like this effect that it gives sort of like a bigger door. And I, don't, and I wanted to sort of break up the side just a little bit. We also added in some spruce, not spruce, some oak stairs here and a bark block here, a stripped bark block, just to get rid of that bottom texture. And I think that looks really, really good. Now, I think as for the barn, this is pretty much done. We've got some lanterns on the inside. I think maybe I'd like to hang a couple of lanterns from the outside in various places, maybe like here or something. Just to add some more extra detail to, this, to, the, to the back of it. Because we haven't got too much detail on the back of it. But I haven't got enough lanterns to hang here. So I need to go craft some more. And it looks like I need to craft some more spruce slabs. As spruce. Um, what you might call it. But let's just take a little look at that from here. Oh yeah that looks a lot better now that I've got these here. Maybe we could put another one up there. Just for just for aesthetic purposes. Yeah I think I think I'll do that. Although they do kind of blend in, so I might trade them out to be oak. I've got a bunch of oak wood on me anyway. But yeah, so I think my next major job is to start bringing the road around to here and up to the sort of like front. So I think it's going to come over here and then it's going to sort of like fork in that direction and then in that direction. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It means I've got to bring all of this up. So this is going to take some time. I used to get to listen to some music. That's what I like to do when I'm just doing some tedious tasks like that. Just put on some music, listen to them. Yeah. So I'm going to get on that and I'll bring you back when i got something to show you. Welcome on back, folks. And I've got the terrain sort of in place. The pathway isn't in place yet. But I wanted to just show you that we finally brought it up. And I've gone with kind of like a natural curve. I wanted it to go down a little bit and then up a little bit more. So that's kind of what we've done here. And I've kept this at least one block away from this so we don't get just weird looking terrain like that because that, that that doesn't look good and yes we could bring that down but i don't think it looks good either i think this looks better like this we gotta wait for obviously this grass to spread to all this dirt and i'm struggling for dirt i've actually been mining dirt from just random places around here we've got a lot of dirt in the old world so i'm thinking there's some way to bring some of that dirt over into the new world and when I say thinking of a way to do that, obviously we could just go to the nether portal, go all the way there and come back. And I'm, and I'm more than happy to go to the old world to repair our tools. Uh, but for resources, I want there to be some sort of law, some sort of reason why he would be going to the old world. Why he would go back there and just sort of like have a reason for it as opposed to nothing. You know, we've got reasons for everything in here. You know, he came on that for, through the desert, sat down here, took shelter in the cave... You know, then he built the stable so that he could have a way to trade for people. I know, I mean, Jesus, not nice, is it? Trading horses for people, but still. Then, obviously, he needs to heat. He need, he's got a couple of people now working around here. They need food. So he's building a barn and an animal pen. And I'm going to do the animal pen in the next episode. I've just... I did have the time set aside for this. I swear I did today. But I've been constantly interrupted. And I want to start streaming regular, so I want to sort of spend some time focusing on my stream today. So I think I'm going to make this pathway one of the last things that we do. And obviously I've got the ground to do in here. I've got the floor to do in here, which I've just realized I didn't do. So I'm going to get onto that, that as well. But I think the first thing I want to do is bring the path, 
path round, and we'd be using cobblestone to sort of signify where the path is. So, you know, like, we've got the cobblestone going here. It doesn't go here, so the path doesn't go around here. The path actually is, goes up here and down here. We can tell that by the cobblestone in it. And this is just some sort of, like, blending pattern. So I'm going to bring the cobblestone in first, I think. Add some cobblestone to that, get the pathway in, and then start adding in these other blocks. But I think before I do that, I'm going to work on the floor in the barn just to give this time to spread. Because you can't path block dirt, you can only path block grass. Welcome on back, folks. And I've got the floor in the barn in place now. It's a little bit, a little bit run down. It's mostly coarse dirt. And, oh, I missed a little bit there. Uh, this is actually done in such a way that as long as I don't put dirt here, I can actually mix in regular dirt with this. But I don't think I'm going to. I kind of like it like this. I think maybe, maybe we could just put a... I got any spruce wood? Yes, I do. A spruce plank there. Just to sort of add that up because there's not much under the chest. And uh, maybe another one over here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And I've got the A bales in place. This, there's a whole stack. I put some out here. Remember, this is going to be the field that's going to have the animals in. And we're going to have the field segmented so the animals will be separated. Uh, we'll have pigs in one, cows in the other, and sheep in the other. I'm not doing chickens in this. I'm going to do some chicken pens. i got some really cool ideas for some chicken pens. So they'll be separate. But this looks really good. We've got the hay bales on here. I thought about having a couple tumble off, but then I thought if I start stacking them around here, cows could sort of park all their way up here, and then they'd probably get everywhere. Uh, I may just put a fence here to stop the cows from being able to get through here, similar to how we've done with the horse and the trap door over there. Uh, it doesn't really serve a purpose. It's just to stop them getting in, and it might actually look cool if we were to put spruce trap doors there again, but I don't know if cows will get over that. The horses don't seem to be able to, so maybe the... Maybe the rest won't, or maybe I'll just have like a little walkway here and have so sort of like three fences here leading off into the pens. That might be the better thing. Then I could have a couple tumbling off there. But yeah, now I've done that, I'm going to get to work on this pathway, which I think I've been doing for the past four or five clips now. So yeah, I'm going to get this pathway in place, and then I'll bring you on back. Welcome on back, folks, and I've got the pathway in place. And i got to tell you, just walking through it, you feel so immersed into it. So, what I've done is I've thrown a couple of brazes in here, just these little things with lanterns on top, just to light up the pathway. This will also help it look really nice when I put the shaders on for the screen, for the thumbnail, and stuff like that. And it'll also look just really nice in general. Man, I wish I could play with shaders on. Even for the world tour, I think it'll look really nice, but my computer just isn't beefy enough to run it with shaders on, which is just unfortunate. And especially because I've upgraded my monitor now, I'm using a 4K monitor, so it's displaying in 4K, even though I'm still recording in HD. Uh, it's more intensive on my computer, and that's a bit of a problem. So I still can't do it even doubly so now. But I threw in a few trees and a few bushes. I used spruce leaves for the trees with either oak or spruce fence pen, uh, posts in the middle. Just so I can break it up from these oak leaves here. I think it just adds some real difference. And it's starting, is that starting to get night already? I think it is. And we obviously we threw some berry bushes in around the outside. And just some grass and stuff. There's still some of these berry bushes that are yet to bloom. And for the most part, this is done. I may add another brazier in here. I've been sort of like varying the height. We have two and three. I don't go any higher than, than two. Sorry. One or two. The reason I don't go any higher than that is because then I have to mount up to, to place these. And these are only supposed to be very quick to put, to put down. So there's that. And you may notice that there's none on this side. But we're going to go ahead and pop asleep real quick. And with that taken care of, we can get back into why I've left one side very open. And not really done too much. Because if you look at it, we've got some detail pretty much everywhere around here. Except for this part right here. And that is because I don't know what's going to happen with this part. I do want to bring these fields around here a bit more. I do want to bring this up here some. But I'm going to need a lot of dirt to fill this in to sort of level it out. So I don't want to level it all level. But I think having some elevation would be good. But it's just way too low at the minute. And I need to do that. So I think I want to come up with a way of why we could get some dirt from the old world. I think that would be really cool. And that would be a good way to sort of start... Bring, bridging connections back to the old world so you know we could go back there and do an, an episode here and an episode there because I, I have an idea for a, I'd like to create a bamboo farm and I want to put that in Viridus not anywhere else because Viridus is kind of those farms you know we've got a farming settlement here but for the farms like this you know Viridus is a great place and I'd also like to put a cactus farm in Viridus as well uh, but obviously I don't want to go back to the old world until we could get the law into the old world a bit more so we'll leave that for now. 
But I think this has turned out really, really well. I'm really, really happy with this. This looks really nice. This barn feels so much more immersive now, especially considering what it was like earlier. You know, we, we just had this big dip here. We didn't have anything. This was a hill, you know, and then we just started putting blocks down and suddenly we've got this. I'm not a big fan of this here, this big flat surface, but I don't want to. I think this makes the barn feel having this. If I If I was to have it sort of, like this over here. If we go over here, you can see that I got a big window here. I just think it had removed from that barn. This doesn't look like a barn from this angle, uh, but I definitely was just wanted to do that. I wanted to try adding in a different window, uh, just sort of adding in new things for a window there than what I normally do. And it turned out really well. I was really happy with it, and I feel a bit more comfortable doing them. Uh, but I didn't want to go mad and do that on all sides. I still wanted to keep this feeling like a barn. Yeah. But yeah, I think next episode is going to be a world tour, and hopefully that'll bring in a lot of people, a lot of people will like it. We've definitely come a long way from episode 1, from season 1, episode 1 to season 2, where we are now. I think season 2 is doing really, really well. The videos are getting a ton more views than what I'm used to, and I feel a lot happier doing them. I'm making content that I actually want to make for a change. <laughs> and it's, it's looking really, really good, and I'm really happy. I feel so in love with this settlement. I'm so proud of what I've accomplished with this settlement and I'm sure a year from now I'm gonna look back and think oh my god this was dreadful look at how I did this this was a horrible barn you know I'm pretty sure I will because that's how I always am I always look back on my past and think I wasn't that good in the past I'm much better now than I was then but for right now I'm feeling happy and comfortable with the way this world is coming along and it looks really good from my point of view anyway I feel so immersed I feel like I'm in a farming settlement when I'm walking through here and that is something I've struggled with in Minecraft is getting immersed into it and with this, with this kingdom, I fair do feel immersed into it. And I am looking so forward to 116 so we could do the orc settlement over there. Oh, man, I'm gonna, I'm, I've got so many ideas for that. I just can't wait. And that's going to be like a very heavily uh, farmed. We're going to probably put a gold farm, uh, an iron farm, all the kind of major intensive farms over there. So I will have to move the beak again. Our mob farm's going to go over there, that kind of stuff. And that's something that I want to start doing with this series. I want to start... Having some purpose builds, you know, because if I need leather for item frames, I've got nowhere in this world to go. I just go out and kill cows. I don't have a cow farm. Oh, creeper. Yes. I've been hunting these down for gunpowder. Now, it is worrisome because mobs do keep spawning in here. So I think I'm going to just add in. Uh, let, let, let's do it there. I'm going to add in a bit of a just a bit of a light in the middle just to stop mobs from spawning. That might help, I don't know. We might have to go through here with F7 just to find out and see where the, where the block states are. But yeah, the stuff that I want to do is have like purpose-built settlements for a while. And that's what I want to turn Viridus into, is, is into more of like a sugar cane farm. A little farms like that, something we won't need a lot of. Because I, I do need some paper uh, for some more rockets. And my, my sugar cane farm in this settlement isn't doing too well. But I, I'm rambling now and I'm getting away from tar topic. But anyway... Guys, I think that's going to call it for this episode. Before I start rambling, I can ramble for England. I can. So I'm going to call it there, guys. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like, and click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.